Hey guys, Ash here, Rage Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. Thank you for all the well wishes yesterday. I'm uh, feeling a lot better today. I really appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to me, truly. Uh, hey, 15th anniversary gift. If you're taking a little break from the game or you haven't logged in in a few days, definitely log in. You can get your hands on a mythical skill tome. We have an immortal soul stone. We also have a primal shard. I'll be opening uh, a bunch. I think 200 primal shards on a video in two days from now, so subscribe to the channel. If you want to check that out, see who I get or don't get. We'll see there. Galathir, fingers crossed we also have news of a brand new fusion today the name of the fusion is the incarnate the incarnate and she's actually a companion champion to arbiter she has a lot of synergy with arbiter and obviously you guys a lot of you guys have arbiter she even has an ability that basically resets the cooldown of the destiny's call so without further ado let's take a look at the incarnate so here's a first look at uh, the Incarnate here, guys. Uh, she looks pretty cool. She's defense-based. She's Force Affinity as well. Obviously, a High Elf Legendary. Uh, aesthetically, what do you guys think? I think she looks pretty pretty badass. I, I, I'm feeling the vibe here. Definitely has that the Defender of Arbiter in High Elf look about her. All right, guys. So here is her kit. On the A1, Attack Intruder. Attacks one enemy two times. On each hit, when booked, we have a 50% chance of landing a Provoke. She also has unbooked a 10% chance to counterattack when ever Arbiter is hit on each hit, so dishing out even more provokes as a result. On her A2, Formation Phalanx. Attacks all enemies on a three-turn cooldown when booked. Has a 100% chance when booked of removing all shield buffs and one random buff from all enemies. Then places a shield on all allies proportional to her defense. On the A3, Defensive Measures. Three-turn cooldown, both books go right to the cooldown here. Ally Protect and a big version of Strengthen on all allies for two turns. This is the best damage mitigating ability in the game. There's already a few champions that have an ability like this, uh, such as like an Ursuga, for example. But we're mitigating 75% of ally damage off of this Defensive Measures A3 ability on a three-turn cooldown. Really solid. On the cr She has two passives. On Crisis Response, the first passive is on a four turn cooldown increase this champion's accuracy by 20 for each ally under ally protection buff when killed resets the destiny's call skill of any uh, ally arbiters on the team okay destiny's call again is the a4 of of arbiter right that is her revival ability so this is really cool so that means when she dies she will reset the ability. When killed, resets the ability to be revived by Arbiter. Now, it's really nice and synergistic here because Arbiter also gets an extra turn after that anyway. So we have an immediate availability of Destiny's Call, and then we can come in with a Mentor of Heroes, turn meter boost, heal everybody, yada, 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 right? The other cool thing about this is we can use Destiny's Call, as you guys are obviously familiar. We can use this ability, even if there's no dead ally, as a turn meter booster. This allows you to go ahead and more aggressively or liberally really use the A4 Destiny's Call when you have the Incarnate on the same team because you're rest assured this will be reset even though it's a five turn cooldown when you need it when she's dead, right? Now, notably though, it's only when the Incarnate dies, not when somebody else on the team dies, so be careful. On Ultimate Purpose, the second passive increases champion's resistance by 20 for each ally under ally protection. So accuracy and resistance are going to be increased by 20 for each ally under ally protection protection which is nice on both accounts but specifically accuracy because we need to remove the shields and a random buff as well as the provoke so we are going to need accuracy on this champion this champion will also receive 20 percent of the damage dealt to any arbiters on the team okay if ally arbiters are about to get killed by a fatal hit places an unkillable buff on her for one turn Again, this is a four-turn cooldown. So now we're also protecting and keeping alive an Arbiter vis-a-vis -vis the unkillable. I, I think she's got a pretty dang cool kit, honestly. Force affinity, defense base. She's ought to be really tanky. It's kind of interesting having a very tanky support champion as a companion champion to the queen of go first, all out speed in most situations. But even more than just the arena or situations like that in PvP, I think this is incredibly useful to have them both together in Hydra Clan boss. You have the provoke on the A1, you have the removal of a buff, you have a shield on allies, a ton of damage mitigation as well. She does have an AoE on a three turn cooldown, so maybe a decent multiplier there for a support as well, for a defense as well. What do you guys think about her kit overall? Uh, my initial impression on the Incarnate is 
she'll help a lot with progression, right? I don't know if she'll be used a lot in the end game as a tandem or companion champion with Arbiter, but who knows? You know, there could be some interesting PvP teams with them both alongside each other. I don't yet know what the base stats are, and that's going to be a, a big unanswered question at this point. What is her base defense? What is her base speed, right? Because that's going to have a lot to do with her overall viability. So the question that begs itself is, is the Incarnate worth going for? Is it worth fusing? Well, an important note before we answer that question is, they actually said in Discord to us, Please note that the format of this fusion will be a little bit different, but already familiar to you, though. Just as usual, you'll need to fuse the legendary champion from epic champions, while you need to summon the epic champions from fragments. So, an interesting layer uh, to this fusion. I don't really love it when they do it this way, personally. What about you guys? Let me know. Uh, overall... I don't think she's a must 100% fuse. That being said, I personally will be going for her because I think the synergy of an Arbiter, uh, you know, companion champion, I think is definitely there to justify going for. She's a really cool kit, personally. Does she blow me away like a Newt or something like that? Like an Armand's? No, not to that level. But I do think she's like a B plus, A minus, and who knows? It's always kind of a TBD on what's viable strategies and how the meta kind of evolves around these new fusions that a lot of people get their hands on so personally i would advise if you want to if you have the resources if you have the tenacity the gumption go ahead and go for it she seems like a pretty robust support champion a lot of damage mitigation i feel like she can help a lot of players out there let me know what you think of this fusion in the comments below guys much love and as always take care guys